the first CAR T uh, has been uh, approved by FDA, uh, I think, in uh, March in, in United States. In China, uh, that's different uh, because we have uh, two more local uh, BCM CAR T. Uh, to apply for a appointment in China. So maybe I think in um, two years, their local CAR-T, uh, um, I think for myeloma, will be approved in China. That's Chinese CAR-T, uh, maybe approved first in China in two years. And uh, from that, that we, I, we are doing a humanized CAR-T uh, in China. Uh, doing this cl uh, clinical treatment for myeloma patients. We think it's more effective and uh, maybe have less uh, uh, side effects with humanized CAR-T. And also we have other um, CAR-T treatment besides BCMA and the CD19. Uh, and also we are doing uh, uh, no, UCAR-T for myeloma patients by now. So I think CAR T treatment is also move on. We know that may, maybe we have now uh, the BCMA CAR T may be the more, uh, the most, uh, yeah, 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 effective CAR T for myeloma patients, and the CD nineteen CAR, yeah, it's uh, show some in some um, papers and in some clinical trials show some effective, but it's uh, I think we mean. Uh, compared to BCM car, maybe not so much popular. And besides these targets, I think we have more CS1, CAR T, and uh, maybe um, um, we have GD, <laughs> other targets. <laughs> yeah, we have more targets for uh, yeah for myeloma patients.